I'll do like a pinky transition shade, then I'll do like a darker pink on the center of my lid. So that's eyeshadow one and two. Eyeshadow three, I usually do a color underneath my eyelid. <laughs> Welcome back to Mia's Life. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup challenge that I've never done before. I'm going to be doing the mystery wheel of makeup challenge. And I have never actually done a mystery wheel challenge on this channel. So I'm really excited for this. So I've put all the makeup that I use on like a normal day look here. And then I've got a list of the order that I use them. So first of all, I use foundation, second I use concealer and so on. For example, on the first round, I'm gonna say, okay, so I'm gonna be using foundation, then I'll spin this, and then whichever product I get, I'm going to be using it as if it was foundation. So I'm quite nervous for this, because what if like something crazy could happen? Like for foundation, I could end up using like, I don't know, eyeliner or something like that. Now, this is gonna be really fun. So let's just get straight on to the video. Okie dokie, so round one is foundation, as I just said. Let's spin this then. I'm gonna have to hold on to the bottom of this because sometimes the spin wheel can do like weird things. Like sometimes it goes back on itself. Okay. I have got setting powder. Okay, so this is like better than what I expected. I feel like this kind of works because you kind of do some foundations you can actually use like a powdered foundation. Like my setting powder doesn't really have any coverage. So hopefully this actually does something. It's probably not gonna do anything at all. Right, usually I use a sponge for my setting powder and I also use this for my foundation as well. So that kind of works. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do in terms of brushes, whether I'm gonna use the normal brush that I use or if I'm gonna use the brush that is actually meant for that product, suppose on what I'm actually using. Let's get some setting powder and try and do something with this. I doubt it's gonna do anything. So basically it's probably just gonna end up like I'm gonna look exactly the same as I did in the start of this video. I'm glad I put primer on before this because sometimes I feel like I don't actually need to use primer because my skin's quite naturally oily. Because I'm using this setting powder all over my face, I'm really glad that I put primer on because if not, I just don't think this would like even stick to my face. <laughs> Okie dokie, so that's setting powder done. I suppose you could say so far so good because I would actually go outside looking like this. It basically looks like I'm not wearing any makeup. I'm basically not wearing any makeup because this is just like, this is just a powder. Next up I use concealer. So I really hope I don't get something crazy like mascara or something like that. That'd be like the worst for this. I have lip gloss for my concealer. Okay, so the lip gloss I was going to use is this Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine lip gloss in the shade Snitch. I'm not sure how this is gonna work as a concealer. I mean, look at it, it's bright pink and it's like super glossy and shiny. Um, okay, we're gonna try our best with this Mia Corns, but I just don't think this is gonna ruin it already. Already I'm going to be looking ridiculous. Okay, so I've got some of the <laughs> product on my sponge. Now let's just try putting this on in the normal way as if it was actually concealer. So I feel like this is going to do exactly the opposite to what I want concealer to do. It's going to make me look more red, not less red. Usually I tend to put a little bit of concealer on my nose because I don't know why, but like my nose tends to get a bit red so um this is like not blending this is actually really difficult to blend i kind of regret choosing to use this lip gloss today because if i'd used like my um sweet peach one kind of like a nudish color that probably would have worked like okay for a concealer but this it does no coverage at all the only thing it does is just make me look like a tomato <laughs> Okay, I look like I've been crying, <laughs> Mia Corns. What also helps the crying look is because this actually has a, like a little bit of mint to it. So putting it underneath my eyes, it's like kind of making my eyes sting a little bit. Okay, so, so far, so bad. I just, this is the complete opposite to what I want my makeup to do. Okay, moving on. Next, I use 
setting powder. Let's see what I get. I hopefully it will be an actual powder to like try and combat like the glossiness of the lip gloss. I have eyeshadow four. Okay, so I've put four eyeshadows on here because usually when I do my eyeshadow, I'll do like a sort of like um, natural transition shade. I'll do like a pinky transition shade. Then I'll do like a darker pink on the center of my lid. So that's eyeshadow one and two. Eyeshadow three, I usually do a color underneath my eyelid. For eyeshadow four, I usually use this color, which I put in the corner of my eye and then underneath my brow, my brow bone. So I'm gonna be using this for a setting powder. Hopefully this actually makes me look a bit more glowing because it's a very glittery color but this is probably just gonna look so weird so i put a bit of setting powder underneath my eyes we don't want our foundation concealer to crease let's put some on my forehead okay i feel like this has actually just made the whole thing look worse Oh my goodness me. I didn't know this was gonna come out like this. I thought this makeup look was actually gonna be like, I was kind of hoping my luck would be good today and that this wasn't gonna come out too bad. But now I just like, I put glitter all over my face and I've been crying. Okay, number four, I use bronzer. So hopefully, I don't, I don't even know what I'm hoping for now. I'm just gonna like, I think my luck has run out. Like with the first product, that was the best and it just didn't do anything to my face and now I just look ridiculous. <laughs> eyeshadow one. Okay, this is gonna be ridiculous. So for eyeshadow one, I, I'm going to be using, oh, I'm going to be using this pinky color here, which is usually what I would use for a transition shade. This is kind of gonna be difficult to put on because like my brush is really big and the eyeshadow like palette bit is kind of really small. So let's try our best with this. Okay, so I'm gonna put some underneath my jawline. Now I'm going to look even more like I've been crying because I'm adding to the pinkness, adding to the tomato look. <laughs> Just to make me look very, very tanned and not at all tomato-y. <laughs> okay, so I think I've officially made myself look even more pink. This is looking ridiculous. And we are now only on product five, which is blusher. So here goes. Concealer. Okay, this is gonna be weird. So I'm gonna be using my Bare Minerals Concealer for my blush. <laughs> oh my goodness me, this is so crazy. Now I don't think this is would really like I wouldn't be able to apply this with a blusher brush. So I think I could either use my sponge or an actual brush, which is designed for liquid product. Um, I think I'm gonna go for the sponge because this might just make it really streaky. And obviously I wanna do my makeup as best as I possibly can with this. Hopefully this might combat some of the pinkiness because if I had put on more pinkiness for the blush, that just might have made this look even worse. So hopefully this can <laughs> do something. <laughs> Do that with my concealer. Now, concealer doesn't really work in the same way as blusher. Like, you kind of have to blend it out. But I obviously can't do that. So I want to try and not have loads of lines. But I don't want to obviously blend out of the place where you wouldn't put blusher. I don't know what happened here. For some reason, I've got some, like, blue. Maybe when I was using this palette, I've accidentally, like... Oh, I think it was for the pink, for my bronzer. I've probably accidentally put a little bit, dipped my brush into the blue. Okay, that's probably made this look even worse. Okay, so I've blended out my blusher. I feel like this just makes me look even more stupid and it like accentuates the fact of all the redness and obviously like that I've not got any foundation or concealer on. <sighs> oh my goodness, we are cons. For the sixth product, I'm going to be doing my eyebrows. And for my eyebrows, I'm going to be using... Blusher. Okay, here goes. Um, oh my goodness me, why does it keep happening where I'm just like adding and adding more pink to my face? Okay, so we're just like, usually I use a mixture of both of these, so I guess I'm gonna have to do that. Here's my eyebrow brush. 
Here goes the pink eyebrows. Usually I like to do my eyebrows very natural, but I feel like that is not happening today at all. Oh my goodness me. I feel like this is the most ridiculous I have ever looked. I have got pink eyebrows. <laughs> this looks so stupid on me, Mia Corns. Moving on, I'm going to be doing my eyeshadow for this look. I'm going to be doing eyeshadow one, which I'm going to be using as a transition shade. And for my transition shade, I'm going to be using... Setting powder again, okay. I don't feel like this is that bad of a, like a, oh my goodness, I accidentally didn't forget to close this, so look how much like product has fallen out of this. I don't feel like this is actually that bad of a transition shade. The only thing is there is going to be a lot of fallouts with this. This is not gonna be good. Hopefully I can actually do something with this. So I'm gonna be using my very fluffy brush. And actually, I think this, Actually, it's kind of helping a bit with like the redness. So far, so good in terms of eyeshadow. Hopefully, if we can actually get a good eyeshadow look in here, that might offset the eyebrows. Okie dokie, Mirkorns. Eyeshadow one done. Now it's time for eyeshadow two, and I'm going to be using concealer again. Okay, so usually eyeshadow two is what I use to add a bit more color to my eyeshadow look. This is gonna do the complete opposite. I'm only gonna get a little bit of concealer. Okay, so I feel like this is the best I can do because if I try and blend it out anymore, I'm not gonna be using it as if it was actually my eyeshadow too. This looks absolutely ridiculous. I did accidentally get a bit of concealer underneath my eye. So I'm kind of glad about that in a way because hopefully that might stop some of the redness. Eyeshadow three, let's use eyeshadow four. Okay, so eyeshadow four is that white color. This isn't too bad. Usually for eyeshadow three, I use this purple. Well, this is what I would do is if I was doing this look that I've been trying to do. Put this underneath my eye then. Okay, right, I do need to add a little bit more whiteness on here. Now, I feel like this, I'm not sure if this is kind of cheating, but I feel like, because I was gonna wash my brushes, but then I realized that I'm probably just gonna have to wash them anyways after this video. So I decided I'm just gonna wash my brushes after this video. Um, But there's a little bit of purple left over on this brush. So I've got like a little bit of purple mixed in with the whites. I didn't need to do that by the way, Mia Corns. Okay. Eyeliner. Okay, this is gonna be weird. I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Heavy Metal Eyeliner, and I'm not really sure how this is gonna like work. I usually put it here on my brow bone and then in the corner of my eye. So at least this is like something that kind of is used up close to your eye. Because if it was like, I don't even know, like blushers, I mean, blusher would it actually be that bad? I don't know. I don't know what could be worse than this, but yeah, something weird. Okay, so let's just try. It's kind of glittery as well, so it might actually work well. But I suppose this way I can get a more precise line of where I'm putting this. And because it's glittery, it kind of does almost work like a bit like highlightery. I don't know. Okie dokie, miracles. I don't actually think that came out too bad. But now I'm actually going to be doing eyeliner. Eyebrows. Okay. <laughs> so for my eyebrows, I use this Urban Decay Brow Box in the shade Blondie. Usually I use like a little bit of this and a little bit of this. So I guess I'm just gonna put both of them on my brush and just try to use this as eyeliner. I'm not sure how this is gonna come out, especially cause like, I guess I'm putting it on concealer though. So it might stick better. I suppose this isn't much different to using like a powdered Eyeliner, but I don't really feel like you can get powdered eyeliner. Comment down below if you can get powdered. <laughs> Comment down below if you can actually get powdered eyeliner because I don't feel like I've never used it before, anyways. If you can get it. Okay, this looks weird. Also, the flicks aren't very even, but you know what? This looks bad enough. I just can't be bothered to try and make the eyeliner look perfect because 
Honestly, guys, I'm not the best at doing the eyeliner, but I definitely have to say, like, this is probably one of the worst has ever come out. This looks so stupid. Now I'm going to be using mascara and for mascara I'm going to be using mascara. Oh my goodness me. How did that happen? I feel like out of all this video this is the best it's come out because I'm actually going to be using mascara for mascara because I was kind of nervous and like how am I actually going to like apply the product to my eyelashes and it actually like stays hopefully this is like i feel like this might actually because i feel like sometimes looks will look a bit weird and then you put mascara on and then it just fixes it all this look i doubt it though to be honest because usually it's just like when you put like quite a lot of dramatic eyeshadow on and then you put mascara and then it makes it look better um this is just yeah product and that is highlighter i really hope i get something glittery for this because what is the point in having a highlighter unless it's glittery <laughs> bronzer and there i was saying i hope i have something glittery to use so i actually use a matte bronzer as well so i don't really know if you could get matte highlighter i'm definitely going to have to wash my brushes after this let's see this i'm actually quite interested in seeing how this comes out like i've never tried using this before obviously i feel like they don't use a fan brush like this but you can get like thicker fan brushes and then you can actually use them for your bronzer like your contour i think so if this was contour it's coming out really nicely highlighter <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is like anti-highlighter, just bronzingness. Obviously, it's in the name. <laughs> you can never have too much highlighter, but you can always have too much bronzer. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to be doing the last but not least product, and that is number 14. And for that, I'm going to be doing lip gloss. So for my lip gloss, I'm going to be using, I really hope, this is a liquid product. <laughs> Eyeshadow 2 this is this bright pink and I'm sure I've used this before my lips Oh, yeah, I used it when I did full face using only eyeshadow and this is the color I decided to use on my lips So it actually came out pretty good. I think so I'm not too nervous about this I think what I'm gonna have to do though because it's a powder and it's supposed to be a lip gloss Kind of the opposite to what I wanted. I'm gonna get some primer put this on my lips first So then the powder actually sticks Okie dokie, now let's get this on my eyeshadow brush. So far, not so bad actually, in terms of the lips. I'm not 100% sure, but I feel like this might be one of the worst like results of one of these makeup challenges that I've done so far. Oh my goodness me, this is all 14 of the products. I do know what it is, that's a lie, it's the eyebrows. Like. What? Oh my goodness me. Pink eyebrows is something that I'm never, ever, ever going to be doing again. Unless, of course, it turns out that I have to do pink eyebrows again in another challenge like this. But hopefully not miracles, because this... They look so stupid, Miracorns. <laughs> but guys, if you're new around here, make sure to click subscribe to become a hashtag Miracorn. And also make sure to follow me on Instagram at Me's Life Official because we are almost at a quarter of a million Miracorns on Instagram. Oh my goodness me, I'm going to be doing something very, very exciting for when we do hit quarter of a million on Instagram. I think you guys are going to love it. I'm sure you guys have a clue. I do this for every single milestone that we hit of the Miracorns. I love you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. I will see you in my next video. Bye! Love you!